During the 18th century, a raging epidemic named smallpox had been rapidly spreading throughout Europe, causing a death rate of over 3 million. In 1798, a man by the name of Edward Jenner invented a vaccine for the smallpox disease to hopefully grant people an immunity to the deadly disease. He developed a hypothesis for his vaccine after one day when he thought about why cow maids never got smallpox, but they always got cowpox. This led Edward Jenner to believe that getting smallpox can be prevented by previously acquiring the disease cowpox. And by experimenting on a small child, James Phipps, he discovered that a disease called cowpox granted immunity to the smallpox virus. Jenner's exploration to the fields of inoculation led to his revolutionary encounter of the vaccine that would save millions. Soon after, in 1802, he would publish his first book, An Inquiry into the Causes and Effects of the Variola Vaccine, to exchange his ideas with the world and create major advancements in the medical field. Edward Jenner was born in Berkeley on May 17, 1749, and he graduated from the University of St. Andrews. During Edward's time growing up, the disease smallpox had been spreading very rapidly and was causing much panic throughout most of Northern Europe. Smallpox was a terrifying disease that caused symptoms such as fever, fatigue, severe blistering, and had a 30% mortality rate. As a child, Jenner had been given an immunity to smallpox using the very risky technique called variolation. This procedure included infecting the patient with small doses of the disease to see if it would create an immunity. However, there was a chance that their immune system would not be able to protect them from fully developing the sickness. Three out of 100 people would still fully contract the sickness. Jenner's research on smallpox was sparked by an urban legend that cow maids never got smallpox because they already had cowpox. This led Jenner to believe that there was a much safer way to prevent people from getting smallpox. He wanted to figure out why and if this was true. He predicted that infecting a person with cowpox would give them an immunity to smallpox. He tested his hypothesis on a child, James Phipps, who was the son of his gardener. To his surprise, he had predicted correctly. When Phipps was given a small dose of smallpox, he did not show any signs of the illness. This monumental moment in his research led to the creation of the first vaccine. Edward Jenner said, I hope that someday the practice of producing cowpox in human beings will spread over the world. When that day comes, there will be no more smallpox. How did Jenner create and develop his hypothesis of utilizing cowpox? Jenner wasn't the first one who knew about cowpox and its ability to immunize people against smallpox. There were several other people who were working on it at the same time. What Jenner did was he took their work and he showed that it could be transferred from person to person. And also he was able to test that and show that the cowpox really did give immunity and it wasn't just an anecdote. What were the public's reactions to Jenner's research? It was a lot like today with some of the people who are against vaccines. People were very scared of injecting something that was known to cause disease and sickness into somebody else, and they weren't really sure that it would give immunity. What effect did Jenner's work have on the medical community, and why was his work so important? Jenner is known as the father of immunology, which is the study of how disease is spread and how we can prevent disease. His work was able to basically eradicate smallpox around the world and led to the modern vaccines we have today. However, Jenner's vaccine was opposed by several people for many different reasons that included religious, scientific, political, and sanitary. In particular, vaccination was seen as an unsanitary practice. Some people did not like the thought of having a living disease put into their body because they believed it would do the exact opposite of what it was intended to. The press also played a significant role in getting the public to refuse the vaccine by utilizing propaganda. Articles yelling phrases like, do not vaccinate and death the vaccinator caught much attention. But no matter what the public thought, Jenner continued doing what he knew was right and immunized those willing. The Edward Jenner Vaccine Society was established in 2010 marking the 30th year anniversary of the eradication of smallpox. This society is dedicated to helping current vaccine research in memory of Dr. Jenner. Their goal is to remove and eradicate contagious diseases, as explained by their motto. Edward Jenner explored into the fields of inoculation with his hypothesis of cowpox granting immunity to smallpox. 
He encountered many skeptical people along his road to vaccination, but he never gave up and kept researching. After Jenner developed a working vaccine, he exchanged his knowledge to people all over the world, hoping it would eventually eradicate the disease. Without him, the modern vaccine would have never been created, but thanks to Jenner's dedication to his revolutionary research, millions of people were saved from smallpox.